Today I'm going to give you a quick and easy tutorial on how to create a digital planner tab inside of Adobe InDesign. Now digital planners are the planners that are being used inside of GoodNotes that you use with your Apple Pencil. So that is specifically what I'm referring to. You can obviously create tabs for physical notebooks, for printables and all of those other things, but I'm specifically going to go over how to create one so that it is linkable inside of GoodNotes. So we won't go through a huge tab lesson. I'll just show you how to do one tab and that should be good enough for you to go out and do all your tabs. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings on Saturdays. Now today we're gonna to talk about digital planners for the iPad Pro. I suppose you could use them for a tablet, I don't own a tablet other than an iPad, so I know for sure it will work inside of an Apple iPad with an Apple Pencil. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna flip the screen so we can see everything inside of Adobe InDesign. Now remember, I am only showing you how to do one tab. I'm not going to show you how to create a whole tab layout or how to do all your setup on the back end. That's a pretty long, extensive lesson, and all of that is inside of the Digital Planner Workshop, which is free if you are a Planner Academy student. So I will leave a link to Planner Academy below for you. Uh, but today we're just going to talk about digital planner tabs, how to create one tab and make it linkable inside of Adobe InDesign. And remember, if you would like to know more about how to create and sell your own digital planner, make sure to download the Digital Planner Starter Guide. I will leave a link to that below and let's get started. All right, the first thing you want to do is open up your digital planner inside of Adobe InDesign. So this is Pretty in Pink, and this is for sale right now in the Pretty Fabulous Designs shop. You can purchase it to follow along, or you can open up your own digital planner. Another alternative too, if this is kind of like, you're like, wait, I don't have a digital planner, not a problem. I actually have a free workshop, the digital planner workshop, but it's free as part of Planner Academy. So I will leave information for that below if you're just not sure how to do layouts or covers or anything like that. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to come here to the second page and we're going to create a new tab. So the original file does not have this tab. It has all of these tabs, the welcome, annual goals, notes in January through December. Um, but we want a tab to go to home because I actually never created it for here. So we're gonna go ahead and stick it on the left. We're so we're gonna go over here to the rectangle tool. And if you don't see that, make sure to go to window workspace. And I always choose essentials. I believe that's the default and it just, it works fine for me. So um, once you have the rectangle tool selected over here on the left, you are gonna go ahead and just kind of eyeball it um, which is kind of how I do a lot of my design. And you're just gonna eyeball a tab over here on the left. And we're gonna go to here to the top and we are going to change this to white. And the second thing we wanna do is we don't want any borders on it. Uh, and we also want rounded corners. So you're gonna come here to the corners and change it from that really hard 90 degree angle to a rounded corner. And that's gonna make it look a little bit more natural. And we're gonna kind of just, I'm tapping, I'm just using the arrow buttons to line it up over here on the left side. And it's a little short, so we can probably make it a little taller. And whoops, I think I made a second, I think I made a second rectangle. All right, so let me lower it down a little and maybe a little more. Okay, so now we have our home tab. So, so the next thing we want to do is add some text to it. So I'm gonna go over here to the type tool, just draw a text box and I'm going to use, whoops, didn't work out. I'm gonna type the word home, there we go, over here and I'm gonna put it over here at the top. And again, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And there we go our tab is done. Now the next place is we just need to make it linkable to this first page. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and select 
use the selection tool and I could select the text, but then it will select all of this area over here. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select this tab. And once I select that tab, I'm going to go ahead and right click on that. And I'm gonna go down here to hyperlink. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on, let me move it up. Sometimes it puts things off the screen. So now I'm going to right click again, go to hyperlink and say new hyperlink. Now from here, I am not going to link to a URL. Instead, I'm going to link to a page. So inside of here, I'm going to link to the very first page, page number one, and that's going to be where, I'm gonna say okay, that's going to be where this file goes anytime that link right here is clicked. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save out our file and I will show you how to test that inside of Adobe InDesign. So let's just save it to the desktop, Pink Planner, tab tutorial. Um, and I'm just gonna say export, yes. Now when it's done, it should automatically open this inside of Adobe Acrobat for you. Um, yes, it did do that. So here is our Adobe Acrobat file and I will make it smaller so it will fit in the side of the screen. And if I go over here oops, and I click on my new button, you can see as soon as I hover over it, the mouse, um, whoops, as soon as I hover over it, it's gonna take me to the home page. So. That's how you can test it inside of your computer and obviously upload it to your iPad. You can test it there, but 99.9% .9 of the time, if it works here, it's gonna work on your iPad uh, when you tap it with your Apple Pencil. So that's all you need to do in order to create a linkable tab inside of Adobe InDesign. Now, obviously remember, you'll have to put this onto each and every single page that you need. So I would suggest using uh, master pages. And if you're not familiar with master pages, I do have another tutorial on how to create master pages. So I will link to that below as well. All right, I hope that was useful. I know when I was first starting, it was like, I knew how to use Adobe InDesign, but the whole thing kind of seemed like magic to me. Like, how did they get that to work? So hopefully that gets you on the right path. And most importantly, hopefully you're excited to use Adobe InDesign to create your digital planner. And if you are just new and starting out, make sure to download my digital planner starter guide. I will leave a link to that below. And I hope everyone's having a fabulous day and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.